Egyptians are complaining about Netflix's depiction of Cleopatra, saying she is too black. They noted that the real Cleopatra would never throw her boyfriend's PlayStation out the window. What's so funny to you? Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that. Do you sleep with the green screen up? Yeah, dude. It's so hard to take down. I think this thing's about to come down just for me doing this. It's fine. It'll be fine. Boys, welcome to the show. <clears throat> first time for you, Jake. First and a half time for Alan. Yeah. Because uh, we had to scrap the last one he was on. Why? There was a, a third party uh, participant who did not want the podcast being released. <laughs> okay. And their yeah. name will remain off the record. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Does it have to really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, no, no, yeah, it's fine, yeah, off the record It probably should Alright But, uh, yeah, dude, welcome to the bed This is pretty nice, right? Yeah, this is pretty nice You have you have different sheets down for recording yeah. that this is like a, a recording blanket Oh, uh, really? Yeah <laughs> <laughs> you gonna... Yeah, that kind of ruins it for me <laughs> <laughs> You want the, you want my fresh, the love of you know, my love making. <laughs> you want my, you want love. my fresh love? You want my warm on your love? Yeah. <laughs> TJ wanted to go under the covers. That was his big plan. Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing that. No? You guys look comfy, though. This is nice. I feel comfy. Are this you going to fall asleep good. in the middle of that? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, can I, I will. Your vape, by the way? Uh, yeah, if you can find it. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, he knew exactly where it was. <laughs> oh, it's over right in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that good stuff. This is we're gonna cut all this <laughs> that's out. The yeah, fuck that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, honeydew pineapple orange. Yeah, could it's I, upsetting that I, there's there's no vegetables. Mind if I in try? There's no vegetables? <laughs> yeah, honeydew, pineapple, orange. Mm-hmm. There are no vegetables. Dude. That's like a uh, some slut's Ooh. dream con- cocktail for cum. You, know this, you ever had those Japanese candies? Like the light lychee or something? No, dude. Yeah, those are called hiyas, right? <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, <yeah. laughs> That's how they do the Heimlich. You're just going to swift hi right the gut. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> then you back. Japanese you Elvis. Up your <laughs> yeah. oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love like on the poster, like it shows like the the same Heimlich and everything. But then there's like an extra step after where both people have to bow to each other. <laughs> mm. It tastes like mint chip ice cream. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's cool. Do you think? Uh, do you think there's going to be another rendition of vaping? What do you mean? Like, because it was the cigarette for the longest time. The Don Draper, if you will. No, we won't, but go ahead. You don't think so? We're not going to call cigarettes the Don Drapers. (laughs) You don't like the word drape? (laughs) Boy, what a name for a guy whose penis was probably not flaccid all the time. Mm -hmm. The Draper. Yeah. Doesn't he have a huge cock? I was just gonna. I was like <laughs> waiting for you to bring that up. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't have to be like he's got a big penis. <laughs> One of the biggest penises in, in Hollywood, according to CelebrityPenis.com. <laughs> Is that a real website? CelebrityPenis.com. No, Probably. I read some article that just listed all the biggest dongs in Hollywood. Oh, you did. Yeah. Who's up there? James I, Woods, right? James Woods. He's on there. Willem Dafoe too. Dude, I saw a thing about James Woods that he was on a flight. The month before 9-11, and he saw four guys, like, sitting in first class. Doing 9-11. <laughs> Dude, they were, like, they were, like, in the turbans <laughs> and everything, and he went up, and, like, they were just, like, totally, like, disrespecting the flight attendants and, like, looking around and being all, like, suspicious and stuff. So, James Wood went to the cockpit and told the the people that uh hey pilot I've... there's arabs back there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're like holy <laughs> shit so dude they like they like really kept an eye on him and everything and then like the plane landed a month whatever before a month before 911 so why was it even that so then 911 happened wait so <laughs> he walked and... in the cockpit he's like there's some arabs and the pilots are like wait 
It's not even 9-11 yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's 15 What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but dude, he like did that at us. He said he had his reasons, but we know what his reasons were. Oh, yeah. Same yeah, reasons. He's, yeah, he's crazy, man. <laughs> Same reasons my mom I'll, still gets Is that nervous. a true story, or did it's James tr- Woods tell that story? James Woods was on Fox News telling the story because afterward... Um, after 9-11 happened, he called up, like, he got in touch with, like, someone from the FBI and was like, hey, just so you know, Why? a month before my flight, there were these four people. You might want to look into their flight logs or whatever. And he was like, and, and the FBI was like, yeah, look, we've gotten, like, 30,000 people calling in, so, <laughs> just because you're James Woods, like, yeah. whatever. They yeah. said that to him? Dude, and then, but Hey, then, we've gotten a lot of tips, all right? Yeah. And we're not going to follow and up We're not going to follow any of them. Yeah. It already <laughs> happened. What's going to happen again? <laughs> I think they're still alive. Yeah. Hey, there. when they rebuild those towers, we'll start taking calls. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you know this, but all those guys in the plane died. So, <laughs> problem solved. Yeah, yeah. Case closed. <laughs> That's Mr. what you call a silver lining. That's what you call a sandy lining. But, uh, so, uh, like, they said that, and then, like, the next day, he gets a call, and they're like, hey, this is so and so from the FBI. Um, we'd like to follow up about your call. And he's like, like, oh, well, how do you know, like, did you, like, check mine out? And they're like, well, let's just say, like, uh, we're standing outside of your house right now. So, like, he had to, like, go outside and, like, there was FBI there. And they told him that uh, out of the four people, two of them were people who committed 9-11 on oh, that wow. flight. Two of the, like uh, Two of them, I don't know what towers. One of them was, like, the Pentagon or something. And the other was, like, one of the Twin Towers. But And then the other two were like in also involved in the the whole thing. They were wow. like they were credited with nine eleven. But uh yeah, so the whole thing turned out to be true. Like his suspicion. Uh just goes to show you, dude. Yeah, frisk. Yeah. <laughs> you frisk. Judge people by their religion, the color of their skin. <laughs> but not their gender. No. This is news from Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Women aren't blowing up shit. <laughs> Biological women are <laughs> incapable <laughs> of committing acts of terrorism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's the story. That's it. That's it. James Woods is one of my favorite actors, by the way. Yeah, I also didn't realize until I heard his voice, like on that video, that he does his voice in Family Guy. Yeah, yeah, he does. yeah that's pretty cool. Yes, it is. Like, I wonder how they got that. Like, he probably just was a fan or something. You guys ever seen Videodrome? No. no. You guys got to see video drama. Is that a uh, Cronenberg? Yes, it is. Dang. Yeah, yeah, you got to check that shit out. Dude, Cronenberg weirds me out. Yeah, I know. It's great. What's the one where the he... The last one he made, I thought was a fucking piece of shit. Oh, the, no, I uh, didn't mind that. Uh, here's the thing. As a Cronenberg fan, he did a bunch of shit that four Cronenberg fans in that movie. For... Was it Crimes... Crimes, Crimes of the, the future? future, yeah. What, like the ear guy? I liked all that shit, like the ear guy and mm-hmm. all the freaky looking stuff. But yeah, it, yeah, all yeah. the body horror and stuff like that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, not his best. Not his best. I but think it was He's good. fucking 82. How is he supposed to be throwing his fastball? I don't know. Like, I still have this issue, though, where if I watch a movie, it can be a shitty movie, but if I see tits in the movie, it's like a good movie to me. Nowadays, yeah, it is. Because they yeah. don't show... Famous women don't show their tits anymore. No. So when you see Leah Sadu or whatever her name is, when you get to see her cans, it's like, all right, it's at least two and a half stars for me. Yeah. <laughs> I want a Leah Sadu do on her tits. <laughs> yeah, like the girl from... Uh, uh, what's it called? Game of Thrones, who drops bags in the first episode. The t- uh, Targaryen, the dragon lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those aren't her real tits. Probably not, yeah. Fake tits. But it's like if you're showing tits, maybe her tits aren't as good. Perhaps. She's like, she's like I want those fucking sweater puppies <laughs> flinging them around. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know? So I don't so, mean, what do you mean by fake tits? Do you mean like she had implants like or a like double. A, a, a or double, double? Yeah. I think it was a body double. It's like a, they do the thing where they have a body double and then they just put their face over it. So. Oh. Um. Yeah. Imagine being that, just being the body. Or they just found a, a lady who looks exactly like her with just huge tits. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're like, we should just cast her. We have a cast. <laughs> That's yeah. an interesting cast. Oh, the problem is the hot one can't act. What are we going to do about this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Yeah. Well, it's Game of Thrones, fucking no one can act. I mean, get the nerds That's on true. this. They'll love this. Have you watched it, Game of Thrones? I hate, I hate it. I, can't, I just can't get into it. I feel like you can't get into the mythical... 
mythical being. It's just it's like porn acting to me. It like it's like watching yeah. porn, and then the porn kind of starts. And then they're like, "Nah, let's go back to the the dragons and goblins and whatnot." Yeah. I yeah, just, that, I that, could that, never get around to it. That is the unfortunate thing about porn is like that a guy lot of also it. the George R. R. Martin is just a weird. He's a weirdo. I don't like that guy very yeah, much. Yeah, he's weird. Anybody who creates a world in their head. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fucking weird. Not as cool as I thought it was when I was a kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy is just, this is how badly he wants to talk to women, but can't. He just <laughs> yeah, has to create yeah. a universe. I'll speak to them through my novels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my novelizations. And then it's just all, like, fucking 14-year-old boys reading his novels. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, what I get out of just talking to a girl, he gets out of creating a world where then one of his fans dresses up as a character and he sees a picture of it and he's like, all right, this is, this is, it. <laughs> this is cool. This is the same as yeah. having sex. <laughs> I'm gonna masturbate my George R. R. Martin penis to this later. I'm gonna masturbate in my fingerless gloves. <laughs> Big J Chokerson. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, you got that uh roast coming up, right? Yeah. No, it's it's not a roast battle, it's like a joke off. Uh, I think is the best way to put it. Yeah, th- the, yeah, that's right. The jokes five jokes about podcasting. I told him uh, one of the it's like that thing at the stand that like Luis J Gomez runs where you have to wrote it's like two comics roast a topic and oh. the topic that Alan's doing is podcasting but uh, one of the judges is Rich Voss so I told I told Alan he should just go up and like not tell jokes and just be like. Hey, I'm Rich Voss. Uh, I say, uh, you, these kids these days suck at comedy. <laughs> I don't say anything funny, but uh, I'm always here annoying people. <laughs> Just like totally. Sh- I did write a joke for you, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it involves Rich Voss. Okay, let's see. I think you should do this. I like. So you're going to be like, all right, I like Rich and Bonnie's podcast because it's a lot like a candlelit dinner. A married couple with a dying flame between them having a conversation that no one else is listening to. Okay. <laughs> Take that, oh, boss. I, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't register that a judge. When I start told. insulting the judge, that's, <laughs> that's not a real, that's not a winning strategy. I think that's that's how you get on real ass podcast, dude. You don't want to be a real ass dude of the week <laughs> <laughs> without committing a hate crime. <laughs> I think I'll just commit a hate crime. Yeah, that is an easier way to do it. <laughs> Rotten eggs, Asian family. Let's do this. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> where, where does that? Where do those strings attach? Hate crime, baby. Rotten eggs. A- oh, you throw rotten eggs. <laughs> you catch on quick. Oh God. Dude, every time I had to like walk through Chinatown the other day, I didn't have to, but I elected to. Cause yeah, it's you fun. you walked a mile out of your way. Yeah, to walk around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just be like. <laughs> <laughs> they talk funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they always like do they? I always, I think I said this to Jake one. Oh time. man, what the hell is going on down here? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I said the same thing to Jake. It's always like every time I walk through there, there's just like a fish like in the rain. <laughs> Like just out, like just out in the open, and just raining openly on like a cod. I'm like, this. Is, who eats this shit? Like who? Or, walks yeah. or even worse, it like hits an awning and then rolls off the awning yeah. through a hole in the middle of it onto the market. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and you're like, well, I'm not eating this shit. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then they have just there's just like piles of like assorted like legs of I don't even know what animals they are. Yeah, they really shit, it yeah. is, really is a wet market because it's just in the rain. It's fucking soaking wet. Soaking wet. And then they sell quantities of things that I'm like, this is just, you're just selling to restaurants, I hope. They're yeah. Like, hey, do you want, for one dollar, you can buy like a basket of ginger. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. what am I going to do with that? <laughs> yeah. I literally need one Every nub. recipe calls for like cutting it with a, a razor. Yeah. <laughs> like, shave the ginger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, uh, it's, you can, go, you can get it. some good shit down there, though. Cheap yeah. dumplings and... What not, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's that one. Place. I heard there's some restaurants over uh they don't want Whitey to walk in there. It's like four I imagine ch- all of them. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. It, there's some that are like, hey man, this is for Chinese people only. Like, don't you fucking come in here. Wow. They'll don't tell you? you that? I mean, no, but they'll just like <laughs> serve you very poorly. Like you'll just be waiting for forty five minutes. Like, oh, yeah, I haven't even gotten any water yet. Like, what's going on? That's I'm, just the at Chinese. Least they have a re- like there are restaurants where they'll do that just because you're a customer. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 
at least it's if they, you're like, hey, what's, what's the deal with this treatment? They're like, we just don't like white people. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to kick me out, though, right? They're like, no. <laughs> Goddamn Americans! No, I'm if you spit stay too in your long, ginger soup though. <laughs> if you stay too long, we will hose you out of here. Civil rights style. I, I civil rights style. <laughs> my, my bombing. <laughs> Jake, how many of these countries have you uh, thought about launching a nuclear warhead at? <laughs> so you sit, when you lay here at night. Yeah. You just try to shoot your jerk off and try to hit the thing. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going to oh, tonight? Man. Where have you been? I've been to like two countries on this. Dude, I've been to Canada and the United States. That's Damn. it. I've, I've been to England and Ireland, Canada and the U.S. Wow, dude. Mm-hmm. Do you have your passport? Uh, no. Not anymore. No? It expired? Eh, yeah, or lost. Like, I, I don't know where it is. Uh, Wait, where'd you say you've been? England, Ireland, Canada, United States. Oh. They're not on the map. Yeah. That's, that's why you're so tan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All over. Dude, I had to I put my legs out today in the sun. They are white. My whole Big body time. is like disgustingly yeah. pasty. But I, I don't even tan. I just get burnt. Yeah. You know? I got no options. No. Yeah, you got Irish skin too? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm more pale than my whole family too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm the most f- Irish. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not adopted at all. <laughs> 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 yeah, my uh, a lot of people in my family are very tan. And I just never got that. But they're also, the ones who are tan are, like, bald, too. So I feel like I escaped that. Sure. There's this, like, hair surgery that uh, comedians are getting where, like, they're getting, like, the back of their head, uh, like, removed and, like, put on the top of their head. And it, like, catches. And then, like, you get hair. And then this hair comes back. So it just, like, looks totally normal. It looks totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it isn't. I'm going bald. If I go bald, dude, I'm just going bald. Yeah, you got to. You, you got to just own it. I don't... Yeah. People get that surgery that's, like, the craziest you'll ever look. When yeah. you have, like, hair <laughs> plugs in before they grow. Dan Soder got it. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's so crazy. He's got a good head of hair. He's got a good head. Yeah, it's, like, 10,000 bucks. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit. But that's, he's like an actor, too. Yeah. So he probably felt like, I need to do this for acting purposes. Yeah, probably. I don't know, man. I don't want to go bald. I got a big fucking mole on the side of my head. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I see it? No, you can't. Hair is all over it. <laughs> it's really hairy, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll do, like, the Jean-Luc Picard, then I can cover it up. That's when you got hair here hair here and it's just here's all bold like yeah i like that look i was gonna say you would look good with just the fucking strip on the top you know the horseshoe you'd look great oh like, like that. an like a bald guy who doesn't shave the sides look yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i don't know like going long i, I think that's a I good look, look great with that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you'd look like uh filch from harry potter <laughs> Like you'd have like the keys to doors in the grizzly pair that haven't been open for years. <laughs> Here lies the bones of Patrice. <laughs> I almost oh. forgot his last name. Yeah. It's O'Neill, right? I'm out of the loop here. I haven't read Harry Potter. I don't know. I'm just one of those weirdos, I guess. Oh, yeah. Filch Hard is just a uh, just a guy. He's a squib, as they call him. Yeah. I, that's The more I think about Harry Potter, the more that, that the existence of that character upsets me. Why? Because it's just it's proof that some people are less well, privileged. She just gave created a character who everyone the whole look he doesn't get any redeeming moments. The whole no. book they're like he's an asshole, and then there's one chapter in the second book where they explain his backstory and they're like his both his parents were wizards and then he just doesn't have any magical ability. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst. That's pretty bad. You're gonna have a shit life. If but, you're and then there's no other character with that situation in the book. No. They just didn't need to yeah, say that. Yeah, he was that. the only one. He was like the equivalent of like a uh, a person with like Down syndrome and like paraplegia. Paraplegia. Oh, like, so he doesn't even have the strength? No. Doesn't have no, the he's strength. really weak too, and he just likes cats. And, <laughs> yeah. he keeps you don't like cat. cats? No, I, I like cats, but that's say, his favorite like thing guy. is cats. Uh, this is worse favorite things than cats. Like what? Yeah. 
Sex uh, with children? <laughs> Sex with, yeah. I Sex wouldn't put children. that past Filch, by the way. With a name like Filch, dude. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a pedophile name and a half. I don't <laughs> even Argus know this guy. Argus Filch. But yeah. yeah. Argus is his yeah. first name. Yeah, what's the guy's name? Larry Skaggs? Oh, he's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're saying, he did. He did it. <laughs> Plendered <to> Skaggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never read Harry Potter? No, I never read Harry Potter. Never get into like uh, any fantasy or anything? Any Star Wars? Game uh, of Thrones? Uh, Star Wars is okay. Game of Thrones I haven't watched. I'm, like big into Star Star, Trek. I'm big into Star Trek. Yeah. I like Star Trek. I like, I like the original Star Trek. That's all I ever watched. Uh, you don't? What? what? You never watched Next Generation? I never know. That's. I, but when I watched the original Star Trek, it's all they had on uh, Netflix. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's on Netflix now. No, it's on Paramount Plus. <laughs> oh, so I'm never gonna see. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, you, that's what everyone says. The Next Generation is like where it's at. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. It's the fucking balls, dude. <laughs> It's the balls. It's the, balls. the next generation is the fucking balls, kid. <laughs> fucking Rika and shit. Just some Boston guy explaining Star Trek to like a Chinese family in Boston. <laughs> yeah, it's the balls. You gotta see it. You guys would love that shit. You look like half the fucking aliens in there. <laughs> what? Get your no, where are you going? No, come back. I gotta. T- <laughs> What, are you going to buy more finger traps? Go fuck yourself, buddy. How's that sound, huh? You try to introduce people to culture, and they fucking... <laughs> culture. That's his idea of culture. Yeah, I'm cultured. I've seen every season of Star Trek. What the fuck more do you want? From Especially me? that one with the lady with the green boobs. That shit's fucking hot as fuck, kid. Yeah, I'd fuck a lady with green boobs. I don't give a fucking I don't give a shit. fuck, dude. Like Poison stupid... Ivy, I'd fuck that whore, too. Three times this, this way. I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck. Even if she had green boobs because of, of, like, she was sick. Yeah. yeah. Even, even if she had tit herpes or something, I'd be fucking the shit even out of that Even if it was bitch. a regular girl with, like, a green bruise. <laughs> I'd still fuck them cause my, to get back at my whole wife. Half the broads in my town have fa- fucking shamrocks on the titties anyways. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Does Boston... It, I assume they go hard for St. Patrick's Day, right? No, no, no. They're quite reserved. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. They just drink and cuss and fucking f- fight every other day, Patty. It's yeah. Boston, dude. That's oh, like you their mean, day off. You mean we get an excuse to act like how we want to act all the time anyways? <laughs> fucking queer. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> fucking queer. <laughs> just fucking queer. Uh, dude, I've only been to Boston once. It's it's hard. I get like lost in, in Boston. Lost I kind, in Boston. I, I kind of don't like Boston. Like I kind of don't like being there. Okay. Like, I hate driving around in Boston. It's the worst city to yeah. drive in. Isn't there, like, a big tunnel now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> what's 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 new with, like, the infrastructure in Boston? Dude, I, it's, <laughs> it's the worst city to drive in. And here's the thing. It's, New York is probably nice. a little worse to drive in. Yeah. But here's the thing. You don't have to drive at all in New York. But in Boston, you have to drive fucking almost everywhere. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. The fucking, uh, uh, like, the public transportation sucks. Yeah. They fucking close at, like, 11 p.m., which oh. is exactly when all the drunk drivers go, well, I guess I got to fucking go home now. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's fucking dumb. Yeah. They dude. better hope the socks don't go to extra innings, dude. Oh, dude. The, the fucking, fucking socks. The fucking socks. <laughs> the fucking socks, kid. I went to a Nets game the other day, and... uh it was really cool, really hood. They really hooded up for the Nets. Mm-hmm. Like it was very like. Oh, okay. Urban. Explain, explain that another way. Urban. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, explain it two more ways. Okay, so every time there's a timeout, um, a troop of uh, women enters the court, and they start twerking for about two minutes that's pretty to cool. a uh, Gucci Mane song. Okay, that's pretty hood. It's pretty hood. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun. But I was saying to Jake, there's this this group called the Brooklynettes that's like a bunch of little girls that dance, and they just dance like very promiscuously. And uh, I watched my friend turn into a full-blown Republican during the game because he was so upset by it. <laughs> he was, like, just drinking a fucking Coors Light being like, this is so disgusting. What's going on? <laughs> well, you also had people... DeSantis. <laughs> you had people throwing money at them. That was the weird part. <laughs> yeah. Whores. <laughs> Come here. 
I said, come here. <laughs> I said, come here. <laughs> You're just whispering yeah. that under your breath in the, in the upper deck. Somehow laying down like this. <laughs> yeah. I, said, I said, come here. Yeah. Sir, you have to get out of the aisle. I People brought, are trying to move. I bought three seats vertically, and I have a big fucking body pillow that I'm just lying on. I paid for these seats. <laughs> you call this basketball? Fucking Larry Bird would have fucking... I saw this thing on TikTok. It was about uh, what you should do if you go to a sporting event. You should buy the cheapest tickets you have. And then when you're at the stadium, look on StubHub and see what tickets are still available. And then just go sit in those seats if they're nicer. Oh, Isn't that a good little cheat? It is. It is. Yeah. I would yeah. do that. I mean, a lot of games you can just move around. I haven't been. I've actually never been to a basketball game. But mm-hmm. baseball games, it's, you can move around pretty easy. Well, that's because nobody yeah. fucking likes baseball anymore. The fucking stadium's empty. Yep. I don't even like baseball. I just like going to the game. <laughs> I hate baseball. I always have. You don't like going to a baseball game? No. No? Damn, no. Dude. But you like basketball? That's so weird. I love basketball. That's so weird, dude, because you look like a basketball. I know, I know. That's why I like it. <laughs> I like basketball, and I like football, and I'm not a huge fan of UFC, but if you ever get two guys just beating the shit out of each other, I can enjoy that. Yeah, I, I, I like that, too, dude. I like seeing someone's leg just snap in half. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get <laughs> for choosing violence <laughs> for your entire life. I don't really have, like, a favorite fighter or anything, but uh, I like watching the Yeah, you the just root for the white guy. Yeah, that's I just root for the white guy. <laughs> Like, it's really a ground game anyway that's important. Come on, Steven. (laughs) Come on, Steven, with no tattoos. Get in there. He was a computer programmer before this. Worked for IBM. (laughs) Hey, guys. Steven from Iowa. Versus Domingo Santiago. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> oh, the worst part is like half those guys do the fight and then they have to go like sweep out behind a fucking bodega. What do you mean? Because they don't make enough money, right? Uh, a lot of them don't, yeah. The undercards? The undercards don't. They're, they're I mean, yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're doing it for the... Yeah, they're doing it for the dream. Yeah. Which is a weird thing, you know? Yeah, it's stupid doing something for a dream. I mean... Right, right guys? <laughs> I mean, imagine you just keep getting the shit beaten out of you, and you just don't get money for it. It's just yeah. crazy. Imagine getting into UFC, getting the piss beat out of you for so long, like so many times, that you, like, forget why you're even doing it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> like, huh? Yeah, you don't even remember. Imagine that. just training your whole life and getting into one fight and getting punched, like, right here. <laughs> and then just you're be- just, the rest of you like, <laughs> 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 for the rest of your fucking life. Yeah, you're just a guy they stick to open a door. Yeah, and people, <laughs> people look at you like you had so much potential. <laughs> yeah, he was going to hopefully crazy. do that to some other guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's now, a, <laughs> now he's a greeter at Walmart, and I think that's just about all oh, he's yeah. gonna do. Yeah, he's yeah. You know what? He's not good at saying hello, but <laughs> still. Yeah, he still he says goodbye for both. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, no, no Stephen. No, we arrived. No, he's, he's Stephen, we up. arrived. Well, this is better than oh. this is better than him saying help all the time. Oh wait, should I should punch him? No, no. <laughs> no, no just no. say hello. Yeah, whatever you do, don't play the sound of Joe Rogan's voice behind it. He'll go into an <laughs> epileptic seizure. <laughs> do not discuss elk. What would you guys... Uh, do you ever think about what you would do on the Joe Rogan experience? No. No? I've talked to a lot of comics who say they have that. That's what they fantasize about. I used to fantasize. Before I got into comedy, I, I would think about it. Because I liked them before I did comedy. I've just been... I've been on so many I've podcasts been now. I've been yeah. on Rogan so many times. I've been on so many podcasts. I'm like, I would just do this, and it would just not go well. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would just be myself yeah, and yeah. let it just not be not vibe or get yeah, along. <laughs> and I'd learn very quickly that I'm not meant to do this. <laughs> that is like the ultimate thing that happened to Joe List. Although I think Joe List has gotten better at doing podcasts, but he would just go on Rogan and everyone would be like, who is this fucking guy? <laughs> get him off. That's kind of Yeah, be they so have no dumb. idea. He's like a comedic genius. Yeah, yeah he's, he's like, like s- one of the best. <laughs> Comedians working right now, yeah. but he's They're just like, like fuck this. Oh yeah, 
No, yeah, no, I scrap. Yeah, I do MMA also. Dude, talk about bears eating people, you fucking gay lord. <laughs> <laughs> do I look fat in this? Do I look fat? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, so I wouldn't even worry if I went on and just, you know, I would just... Yeah. Blood I think I'd make up a bunch head. of lies because it'd be a good episode. Yes, that's what Theo Vaughn you know does. I, I would do. I would lie and then immediately like go back. Like he'd be like, "You like it? UFC?" He'd be like, "Oh, I love it." He's like, "You watched that last fight?" I'm like, "Yeah." And then start talking about it. I'm like, "Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. love you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know who you are." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, do you ever worry that you're never gonna make it in comedy because you don't like MMA? It's no. like being a girl that doesn't <laughs> blow bookers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just, just a joke. It's all my female audience. It's just a joke. Um, <laughs> hey, it's just a joke. Don't be a bitch about it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a joke, unless you don't want it to be. Oh, man. <laughs> unless you really want to get on my show. <laughs> Whore. Crash and burn. <laughs> hey, s- someone will blow me, so... Imagine blowing a guy to get a spot, and then it's crash and burn at piano. <laughs> <laughs> There's just three audience members just <laughs> talking about your body loudly while oh, you're doing man. comedy. <laughs> So, you you blow someone in like the animals room, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. the terrarium thing, yeah. just up, up against the glass, like help. Oh. Um, the, the recording studio for animal statues. Yeah, <laughs> have you seen that? You haven't seen that room, right? Pianos. It's where we did our show. There's this upstairs uh, room, and there's like this glass that goes like into this. Like, just void area. There's just nothing in there, but it's, like, lit, and there's, like, animals. And then there's glass behind it, and there's another area with even more animals. It doesn't make any sense. Not, like, real. Like, fake animals, but... Yeah, but the other one is, like, it's not even... It's like who is that even for? The yeah. other you can't even really see it. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, it's, weird. it's just you have to be standing in one <laughs> specific spot in the back of the bar, and you just look, and you're like, that's weird that they did that, and that's it. That's yeah, the whole. It experience. like looks like a decoration almost, and then you're like, well, that's barely like this is just someone's where they're storing their animal statues. Yeah, like that's what it has to be. That yeah, but they're like, let's put some lights on it so it doesn't look. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't look normal at Make all. It look like they're like if you put a quarter in, they'll do a dance or something. <laughs> Alan, are you allowed at Chuck E. Cheese? Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's good. I mean, I wouldn't use my real name, but... <laughs> Garth Soprano. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really? Good. That's your name? Yeah, it says here your name is not a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I Am I technically that? allowed in there? Like, I mean, who's to say? Oh, true. Can you go in but, so uh, Yeah. I, I, I mean, am, I, I am a can. force to be reckoned with. Dude, what if you just went in there by yourself and you had sunglasses and one of those old hats and like an overcoat? You just (laughs) just looked around. (laughs) Looking for the banana mobile. (laughs) Like a large cheese pizza (laughs) in the corner of the restaurant. Dressed as like a... What what candy do the kids like most here? (laughs) We should dress like three studio executives and try to sign the rat band. (laughs) (laughs) These guys are amazing. (laughs) I've never seen three mice I can play rock rock and roll like this. (laughs) Aren't they just robots? Yeah, they're. (laughs) Uh, I don't think you understand what you're passing up here. Just sign the document. That would be a nice uh, like sequel to Ratatouille. He just gets stuck at a fucking Chuck E. Cheese and he's gonna make the pizzas. And he just, just kills himself. You know the guy who founded Chuck E. Cheese? You know what his deal was? Uh, some uh, He didn't he, like, uh, sell Chuck E. Cheese to, like, get into, like, Bitcoin or something? No, dude. He, so this dude, I, he founded Atari. Him and Steve Jobs founded Atari, like, back in the day. And then he left Atari because he was like, my heart isn't in this. And then he worked on... The idea of Chuck E. Cheese for like 10 years oh my God. and like lost all his money being like, no, there's going to be like a band of robots that sing. That's to the kids. awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> like Atari just pays the bills. Like yeah. pursue my passion. He was just Walt Chuck Disney e. that Cheese. took a wrong turn along the way. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. he was a crazy guy who believed in something that no one else saw. And you know what? That no one yeah. still sees it. And he's like, and I'm going to freeze my body in a solid chunk of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so they can find me years later and bring me back. <laughs> so I can reclaim my, my greatest pinball score. <laughs> They're like, yeah, whatever, man. They just kill him. Yeah. <laughs> just euthanize <Yeah>. him. <laughs> yeah. Just throw him in a pile of dogs. <laughs> sure, man. <laughs>
He should get like reclaimed by the rats when he dies. <laughs> I want to be buried in the sewers in, of New York City <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with my people. There's, I'm surprised there's not like a Chuck E. Cheese Ninja Turtles crossover. You know? Is there a Chuck e., What do you mean? Is there like a Chuck E. Cheese show? Well, there's a rat in Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Sure. And uh, they like pizza. Those turtles. It's a young rat, though. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, like, it's, yeah, you know, it'd be like, hey, like, that would just be Splinter, be like, oh, yeah, my son, I don't talk about him. Yeah, guys, Splinter is grooming Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, little, a little weird. Yeah. yeah do you guys want to hear some jokes? Dude, people yeah, always, people always complain about grooming, right? Like, you know, like, oh, you know, he found this 16-year-old girl and he was grooming her and waiting till she turned 18. But yeah. I, everyone always, always told me patience is a virtue. <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is. Yeah. I call it an investment. <laughs> I'm investing in this 13 year <laughs> What, I paid for her pigtails? I'm not allowed to fuck her when she turns almost paid 18? paid for her pigtails. You bought her two things. <laughs> paid for her pigtails. <laughs> I funded her yeah. I treat tail. you right, don't I, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I paid for your goddamn pigtails. Yeah. <laughs> Disrespecting me. <laughs> Disrespecting me and my Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> He's slapping her 16 year old girlfriend <laughs> in Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Embarrass me in front of my favorite band. <laughs> All right. We don't have to talk, but I'm going to set this thing up. Oh. You're pulling out the Ouija board? Pulling out the Ouija. Alan, you might have to uh, sit up a little bit just for this. <sighs> then, can, uh... then you can go back to your. Are you are you mad at me that I'm doing this right now? A little you, bit, yeah. You look so mad at me. <laughs> so comfortable. Can you just can you just scooch up a little? Could you do something? Well, I gotta put this between my legs. There so. you go. I think you can figure it out, <sighs> dude. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's yeah, that's good right there. All right. Oh, that's perfect. Let me just get my hat on. All right, guys. It's time for a little segment. Damn, that really it covers all your hair. I like to go. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really weird look. It looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> little segment I like to call news from bed. This is news from bed. Hi. This is news from bed. I'm in bed, and this is the news. Disneyland of California revealed a photo of Mickey Mouse, the Mickey Mouse gang, wearing... I'm going to start that over. Because <laughs> the folks at home don't know, but I just fucked up. <laughs> but Disney I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> and it's on the internet. Disneyland of California revealed a photo of Mickey Mouse. God damn it. I need my candle anyway. This is going to be good, I swear, Alan. I didn't make you move for nothing, okay? Disneyland of California revealed a photo of the Mickey Mouse gang wearing rainbow colors for its first ever Pride Night to take shots at Florida Governor's... Florida's Governor, Ron DeSantis. It's time we fight fire with gay bestiality. <laughs> A couple in Asia beheaded themselves with a homemade guillotine as part of some sort of unknown ritual. In other news, guys, my penis grew nine inches last night. <laughs> the Bills stated that Damar Hamlin is okay to play after suffering cardiac arrest, stating that it's actually the least controversial arrest in NFL history. Because usually they beat women. Oh, yeah. New data finds that a staggering amount of Gen Z women are identifying as bisexual. Some think it's a trend, but to that I say, women have never been able to make up their mind. <laughs> I gotta wait for it to scroll a little bit. <clears throat> Scientists have discovered that electrical stimulation can be used to heal wounds faster. It can also be used to make C-3PO bust. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> I thought that was going somewhere else. 
Financial ex experts are saying that we should brace ourselves for the economic outfall of the Silicon Valley bank collapse. Maybe this was just me, but I always thought making a deposit in Silicon Valley was when you come in Kim Kardashian's ass. <laughs> Actor Jonathan Majors is facing his sexual... Oh, God. <clears throat> Actor Jonathan Majors is facing his second sexual abuse allegation. I don't want to get too into details, but let's just say we should have been calling him Jonathan Miners. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, Egyptians are complaining about Netflix's depiction of Cleopatra, saying she is too black. They noted that the real Cleopatra would never throw her boyfriend's PlayStation out the window. <laughs> <laughs> this has been news from bed. Good night. Oh, God. I just blew so much of that wax on my leg. That was so hot. Oh, you damn right it was hot. Oh, man. Oh, God. Those last two were really good, Patty. Thanks, man. Dude, it's hard to write yeah, eight jokes. The first one, too. The first one was really funny. Oh, once I got it? Yeah, once you <laughs> fucking figure it out. <laughs> no, he started and stopped, I think, too many times. I was, yeah. yeah, I didn't want to hear the hand. Did, were you reading them as I was going? I'm, I I'm, was. I was reading the them. gay bestiality one. Yeah, gay bestiality. Yeah. It's what it is, dude. When I see Mickey Mouse and, and Donald Duck wearing rainbow, mm -hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, neither should you. <laughs> Are you going to replace Tucker Carlson, big guy? <laughs> and frankly, neither should you. <laughs> no, listen. If you're a mouse who owns a plot of land in Orlando, Florida, you should do whatever you want with your body. Do you disagree? Just as long as you don't get married, right, Alan? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alan, likes to, uh, Alan likes to text me marriages between a man and a woman pretty much once a day. <laughs> yeah, solidly. Sometimes I just do marriage, period, woman, period, man. <laughs> just shorten it. <laughs> he, just he sim simplify, it. Simplifying fractions. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, you know. You do a good Tucker Carlson, I think. Yeah, that's a... Uh, it's all just I'm just copying Come Town. Yeah. Nick Mullins yeah. He just he does every impression the funniest, so I just copy him. He I do does. his Chinese, I do his Tucker Carlson. Yeah, your you, I mean your news from bed voice is like is similar Kinda to Tucker. Tucker. Yeah. yeah. Tuck, you know. The tuck dude. <laughs> yeah, the dog dude. Keep it tucked. <laughs> yeah, tuck it back, dude. <laughs> this is tucking it back with Tucker Carlson. <laughs> He's just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he would say after yeah, that. Yeah, that's his version of drag brunch. <laughs> yeah, tuck it, tuck it, it back. Tuck it back. Teach kids how to stay tucked. Yeah, he's just got like a sideways hat on. Come on, <laughs> come on, Tucker. He's a weird looking guy, man. Yeah, he is. He looks like a like a ten year old boy with like a. You know what I mean? He looks like when like a guy like Andy Milanakis starts aging. Yeah. You know. Yes, yeah, he catches it. Dude, speaking of that, have you seen um, John Mulaney lately? No. Oh, yeah, he rough. doesn't look so good. No, he does not. Well, he just got over a big cocaine and alcohol binge. Also, yeah. he's a father now, so he's just gaining weight. You know? He's yeah, like that's a parent. True. He's just not thinking about himself anymore. He's thinking yeah. about Is he still living with Olivia Munn? <sighs> Dude, I don't know. I haven't spied through their window in years. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, sweet Olivia. I don't even know who that is. She's like, there's some people who are celebrities for just being hot. That's yeah, that about about rounds her up. She's not like a talented person. And then they like inter. They're like, you know, what we should do is we should interview that hot girl who has a really poppin' Instagram and see what she's got to say. <laughs> Guess what, Jake? Not much. <laughs> no. <laughs> Money, please. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> That's such a South Park character. <laughs> so, Paris Hilton, we noticed uh, you uh, 
You're doing charity now for for saving dogs. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. Yeah, we think that's really great, and uh, we'd like to know what are your opinions on uh, gender equality in the United States. Money. <laughs> <laughs> I think this bit is dead. Cock, <laughs> cock, cock, and money. money. <laughs> cock and money. <laughs> <laughs> just her wrapping a hundred dollar bill around the cock. <laughs> Whoa, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, Paris, you're retarded. <laughs> Money. Money. Dude, the other day I went to uh, uh, the tiny cupboard to do an open mic, and it's like two dollars. Nice. nice, dude. And like, dude, I'm like kind of autistic when it comes to like being on time and like having all my shit together for the mic. So, like, I had this sure. $2, and uh, I was just holding on to Like, I was just holding it in my hand for the entire mic. <laughs> <laughs> and it got so sweaty. <laughs> like, I just handed them the thing, and they're just like, this is disgusting. <laughs> it was just, like, wet parchment, dude. Was there like a, a sunken treasure Was map. there an edible involved, or are you completely stone cold sober? Completely sober, dude. I've done that before where, like, I've... Like I've borrowed someone's phone to like mm-hmm. make a phone call, and I just am holding it too long, and then I give it to the back to them, and it's just like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. so gross. Yeah, well, yeah get, my hands get really sweaty. Me too, dude. You know, um, I won't say. It, never mind. Uh, uh, a friend of mine who probably wouldn't want me to say his name he gets like the sweatiest hands ever. Oh, I really? thought my hands were bad because every time like I shake some like a someone's hand who doesn't have that problem, yeah, they always are like this fucking. It's disgusting. a comic. Yeah, but then this guy shook his hand, and I was like, it, it, "It's insane. Your hand—it's <laughs> like it's like they're like spraying water." Do you know who's got a nice hand for a handshake? Is Ari Kaplan. I don't know Ari. Dude, it yeah. feels like like when you shake his hand, it feels like what I'd imagine. It feels like when like a stunt man like jumps off of a building and they land in that big net. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? It's like yeah. a catcher's mitt. Your hand just like. It just like molds to it. It's really like it's like fluffy. It's like a fluffy hand. It's good to know. Yeah. All right. So if you're ever looking at what else do you like hand, about Ari Kaplan? Um, that's like honestly it. <laughs> 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 that's really it. Nothing else. Can I see that thing again, Alan? Thanks, dude. Thanks. <laughs> so do you guys want to talk? I mean, you're the host, dude. You got to lead the charge. Yeah. You can't be vaping. Damn. I'm going to put that one up on the green screen, dude. That was a sick one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was sick cloud. You're right. That was pretty fucking cool, Patty. I remember when, when vaping started to become popular in my high school, kids, it was still like the big thing. The big mechanical thing with the spout. Oh yeah, and it was so like a car battery in class, and then bl- like try to be discreet, and then just blow of like it lit like a smokestack. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like, oh, sticks is performing here. I guess. <laughs> How old are you? If vaping was you were kids were vaping I'm, in high I'm school. I'm 24. You're 24. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh God, I'm a young man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. That's why yeah. he can still fuck 18 year olds. I uh, we can though. still do <laughs> because no one thinks I'm 24. Yeah, that's true. Hello, I'm 24. Just it just sounds can like you're making I, up of an age. Can I get Hello, I'm 24. I slept with an 18 year old, and I was like, she's like, you're like the oldest guy I've ever been with. I'm like, no, I'm 24. I should be like, yeah, you're still the oldest guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, she's by like, oh, far. I thought you were 24 or 23. <laughs> Same age. Oh, I thought you were 24. Money. <laughs> money. Yeah, that's what she'd actually say. She'd be like, money now. What's your love life like, Jake? It's all right. You know? Are you dating? No, I'm not. I'm single. Oh, Single hear man. that, ladies? Yeah, all the <laughs> ladies that listen to this show. <laughs> yeah. I was a jingle. They're, they're tuned in, tuned in. Yeah, they're tuned in. No, I'm a single man now. Nice. I had a girlfriend for like a year and a half. Yeah, and then you murdered her. <laughs> <laughs> I spent, uh, I was on the road last weekend with a couple comics, and one of them, uh, <laughs> I loved all these guys, and one of them was just saying some crazy shit about women yeah. <laughs> and i was like on Man, stage or backstage just in the car oh, okay. <laughs> most honest <laughs> just location. on the five hour drive yeah. to and from oh what do you say 
just you just name a woman and he'd be like oh that cunt and you're like what like what about her and he's like i honestly never met her <laughs> <Shit like that. laughs> just would do that to anyone it is always like kind of jarring because like i always feel like the comics who like make jokes about women like on stage when you talk to them off stage they're not like that at all they're just trying to be funny but then oh, like yeah. the, there's some comics who like you talk to off stage and they're just like they're like yeah dude the fucking tail on that one you're like oh easy dude oh. yeah she's Right there. When you talk to a weird. guy who's like a real dog like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm not, you know, like, I'm not going there with you, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you been reading the news the past <laughs> five years? Yeah. We're all going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some guy just, you know, he's a clean comic. It's always a clean. Comic. He's a clean comic. True, it always is. But then off stage, he, you're hanging out with him, and he just looks at you, and goes, ah, "Check out the ass on that bitch." Oh, I ever been jealous of a toilet seat before? <laughs> 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 You're like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He just talked about muffins for five <laughs> minutes on stage. Uh, I hate when so when you hear a guy use the word like say like bitch or cut and they don't say that usually and it just yeah. comes out really like sinister. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Jesus, like, dude, bitch. You got to practice at home first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why I say cunt all the time. It sounds pretty pleasant coming from me. It really does. Cunt. Yeah, it's like it's like an Australian <laughs> guy saying cunt. Cunt. Yeah. cunt. It's like when you it's like, like a bird it, It's like hitting something tin. Cunt. <laughs> Cunt. Oh, dinner's ready. I think dinner's <laughs> ready. Cunt. What was that? Oh, there's a pie on the windowsill. <laughs> Better run home. Oh, that cunt baked me a pie? How nice. <laughs> Beautiful cunt. Oh, yeah, man. you're my cunt. Can I, can I hit this thing? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Alan loves it, dude. Are you guys hot? Are you cold? I'm, just, I'm hot right now. You're hot? Pretty hot. Like it's pretty this, warm. Uh, yeah, the problem is it gets cold very quickly, but dude, with the the heat that we're spewing right now on this podcast, better ice us down. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Just gotta make sure this is angled at the camera. <laughs> it's their sponsor the podcast. I need to know that. I need some brand recognition. Here. I didn't know Angola was in Africa. I always thought it sounded Eastern European to me. Yeah. You can read that map from here? Yes, I have excellent eyesight. Let me put my glasses on. I wonder if I can see it. I have excellent eyesight. I, really, I want to go to Iceland, dude. Yeah. That's, that's where I want to go. I oh, yeah, go now Brazil. I can read all of them. I want to go to Brazil, Japan, and Australia. Yeah, I want to go to Australia, too. I don't want to go to Brazil. Oi! <laughs> it's got a <laughs> Oi Just to do that Just to do what 24 hour flight <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oi Alright it's too hot Oi. Too hot Get yeah, right. on the plane <laughs> That's enough of that <laughs> Oi Dude just tell people Hannah Gatsby Oi <laughs> Oi Time in Paula Oi I'm a dyke And people were mean to me Oi <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to New Zealand, but look how far of a trip that is. Yeah, dude, it's like a twenty. It's a full day, twenty something hour flight. Never get that day back. No, you won't, dude. That's okay. Like, if I'm doing a twenty four hour flight, then I'm going to break my sobriety rule. I'm taking like a Xanax or something, or a muscle relaxer, maybe a little Molly in there too. Yeah, because you'll land totally. Not addicted to drugs. <laughs> 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 nah, dude. When you when you fly over that many time zones, it doesn't count. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're basically in a different dimension. Yeah. Yeah. Your Honor, she didn't consent, but I would get I would just get <laughs> fucked up way was, too early. Yeah. I was flying Qatar Airlines. <laughs> yeah. Plus, she was wearing a tube top. <laughs> <laughs> a tube top. The defendant pleads <laughs> tube top. <laughs> <laughs> High fives a lawyer. <laughs> Drink. Case closed. <laughs> Her lawyer's like, you didn't tell me you're wearing a tube top. Just me and my legal team fucking chugging Budweiser's <laughs> on the stand. And just music. <laughs> the dancing lobster from the band. <laughs> Beach ball. High fives. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you didn't tell me you were wearing a tube top. 
Are you out of your mind? I said spare me no detail. <laughs> Paris Hilton. <laughs> she has like a like a barrister, like an old school lawyer. <laughs> He's got three pipes. You trollop. <laughs> you didn't tell me you, you were wearing floozy. a tube top. <laughs> Some guy with a fucking pocket watch calling you a skank in front of the judge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the girl's mother. You've ruined my perfect record, you harlot. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the foreman and juror takes his dick out. It's huge, and the, the judge is like, "That's what I call a hung jury." <laughs> like, All right, this is this is too much. <laughs> Have you ever had to do jury duty? One time I showed up for it, but they canceled it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I won't. <laughs> no never, snitching. Never mind. Yeah. He killed himself. <laughs> he killed himself in jail. Right. Have you gotten it? Have you gotten the call up? Uh, yeah, I just got out of it though. They yeah. make it seem like you have to say the N word to get out of it. I lit. I was just like, uh, I'm a comedian, and I'll just say I'll talk about this on stage. Like I just made. I was an open micer. I was like yeah, lying, yeah. <laughs> and they were like, "All right, get out of here." Oh, I'm that's the ultimate out, dude. Yeah, but at the, they they just had everyone line up in front of the judge, and they were like, "Just go tell the judge why you can't do it." And like ev- he let everyone go. Wow. There wasn't a single person where he's like, you're you know an American, what? do your duty. Yeah. You know what it is? It's probably like there's a lot of sick motherfuckers who probably love the idea of doing jury duty. Yeah. There's probably a lot of people who like it. Oh, yeah. There's probably some people who need the money, too. It's $40. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. That's better than zero. It's more like a it's place like, to stay. Like if they sequester you. Yeah, that's like a hosting Jake's show five times. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Sundays Amen. at six, the Grizzly Pair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never. My mom knows like the best ways to get out of it. She's like, just reschedule for a holiday. So I'm always just like, I'm not free, but I can do 4th of July. And they're yeah. like, okay. And then I'm like, wait a minute, Mom. Am I going to have to do this on the 4th of July? And she's like, no. And then they always cancel. That's good. It's funny that the – it's kind of ironic that the 4th of July, the day of justice and independence, is the day that we're not going to bring criminals to – You know what they end. did when I was called to it? It was – I didn't – I don't think they do this really. I don't think they're supposed to do it. But so they told us what the case was before any of us, like to get essentially to be like, you know, if you have any objections or a personal gripe with this subject matter, you can leave. But the defendant was sitting in the room with his uh, hands cuffed behind his back. Oh. And he like, he like broke into someone's house and like robbed their, robbed them. And then the family came home and he like tied them up was like what he did. He didn't kill him or anything, torture him. He just tied him up yeah. so that they could keep robbing him. And while they were like reading out all the charges, the guy was looking at the prospective jurors just like like just smiling at us. <laughs> I was like, "What? Why is he in here?" <laughs> Am I supposed to be scared of him? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't so even weird. kill anyone, pussy. Like, I'm not yeah. afraid of you. Quit grinning. <laughs> yeah, you wanted you stuff right. you couldn't afford. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you really needed an iPad for some reason. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like they're not supposed to do that. They're not supposed to show you the guy. No. Because if they show me a guy who looks at, uh, some type of way, <laughs> let's just say I'm yeah. hitting the guilty button. <laughs> he was like <laughs> he was very noticeably Italian and I was on Long Island and so I was what like what do you mean noticeably like Italian? like like hair slicked Throw back and stuff like no <laughs> one looks like this anymore yeah, yeah. <laughs> ridiculous oh uh, dude that's he's a treasure then yeah. real ginzos are hard to find oh yeah, yeah. and then the the jurors are on Long Island like half the jurors look like that hey so. yo I don't believe this guy did anything <laughs> yeah. wrong yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey yo yeah. what did he do did he <laughs> stir the sauce too long or something <laughs> <laughs> I can't sit on this case uh, I guess not Did how we do it Frank? in the old country yeah. Yeah. Like, no, He didn't no. say Frank Sinatra sucks Does he? <laughs> yeah. Then what's the problem? That, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah I'm okay with hey. that He seems like a good guy <laughs> <laughs> Hey buddy where you get your garlic knots? <laughs> From Tony's down the street See this is a good guy This is a guy who knows Hold on, hold on. What was he stealing? Uh, a, a jar of Ma's sauce. Oh, oh Ma's sauce. Lock him up. Give him that Ma's sauce. Penalty. Penalty. Put him in the chair. Put him in the clink. Yeah. 
<laughs> Some people are monsters. <laughs> it's just, imagine the electric chair for Italian people. Just, they put you in a chair and spoon feed you ragu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Just, it literally just yeah. kills you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't taste none of the onions in here. <laughs> Please make it stop. <laughs> it's actually artificial flavor. Oh, artificial flavor. <laughs> Artificial. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it sort of becomes Donald Trump a little bit. Hey. Oh, dude, Italian people. I'm surprised he didn't just go right into an Italian Trump as soon as he said that. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah I have to remember how to do Trump. <laughs> we, uh, we really like uh, hairy women. <laughs> Really? I'm gonna cut that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where he went. That's the best I could do. Put me on the spot, dude. Don't put me on. The, don't put me on the spot. We got a lot of pepperoni in this country. A lot of pepperoni. <laughs> there was this kid. Uh, speaking of pepperoni, who had nipples. I remember when, like when I was like really little, we went to the beach, and there was this big fat little kid, and uh, he like ran into the water, and his friends were just like. Like making fun of them, they were like, "Hey, your nipples look like poker chips," <laughs> and then they're just like chanting. They're like poker chips, poker chips. It was so funny, dude. <laughs> Poor little kid, because now I he lives in my brain as poker chips. Twenty years later. Oh yeah, there's a kid who, when I was in kindergarten, he was in fifth grade. He's on my bus and he shat his pants on the bus. Nice. And all the girls started. His name is Marius. And they go, Marius pooped. There's a lot of like Latino kids. They're like, Marius pooped in his pants. <laughs> like that. Yeah. And I saw him when I went home for like Christmas. I saw him in a grocery store. And I was like, that looks familiar. <laughs> I was yeah. like, that's Marius. <laughs> yeah. Marius and so pooped. I kicked him right in the asshole. And I was like, yo, you just shit your pants, Marius? <laughs> 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 yeah. I almost used an inappropriate word right there. <laughs> you bleep. Yeah, but yeah, you get if that's if you do something like that when you're like that young, that kid didn't even do anything. It's just who you are. Like if you're you're a kid who throws up in school, and they have to get that, uh, you know, the wood dust. Oh, the sawdust. (laughs) Sawdust, dude. I call it a wood dust. (laughs) Yeah, the the kid who shits his pants in school, he never hears the end of it. No. And never. you should never hear the end of it. There's no appropriate age. Even if he's school. like the quarterback of the high school football team, they're like, that's yeah. great, but you still shit your pants. Yeah, even if someone State like, championship or not, dude. Yeah, even if he got tackled and like killed on the field <laughs> and like shit his pants immediately after, they'd be like, did you see what happened? Hey, yeah, he shit his pants. <laughs> it was gross. He died. Then Man. he shit his pants. Yeah, we're all making fun of his girlfriend. He di- died of embarrassment. <laughs> hey, Tony. <laughs> Everybody's Tony. <laughs> no, Tawny. Her name's Tawny. Oh, Tawny. Oh, Tawny. That sounds like yeah. a cheerleader name, right? You ever shot your pants in school or anything? I never shot my pants in school, but one time I, uh, I like, when I was, like, young, you know, of an ambiguous age, I don't know, old, <laughs> I was at least seven. So I was, like, old enough to know not to do this, but I was just, like, in my room, and I, like, had to shit, and I was just, like... I just, like, took my pants off and, like, I had, like, a medicine cup, you know, like a little medicine cup, and I just, like, held it under my That's ass. disgusting. That's <laughs> fucking so gross. I what just, the fuck is you, wrong why with you? Did you think you would why the fuck did you do that? The whole two, and then I shit, like, a little piece into the oh. medicine cup, and I was like, this was disgusting that I just did that. <laughs> So then then I went to the bathroom and I like tried to like flick it off into the toilet and it just landed right on the seat. (laughs) Oh man. I had to like nudge it in. Oh man. Yeah. You find that funny? I find it disgusting. Yeah. I'd like, I have uh, less respect for that. Yeah, if you laughed a little, Alan, it could have been a clip. But it's like the funny <laughs> Dude, thing. well, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not laughing at you shitting in a medicine cup. You might have to be a little more it clever than that. It is kind of that. amazing that you, you managed to not just shit all over your hand I know, because I, like, to this day, you, you like... Just, yeah, you just pinched off You ever, like, have chip. to, uh, like... <laughs> you ever, like, touch your asshole? And you're like, oh, there it is. That's where it is. I try not to. No, even, like, in the shower? I don't touch touch it. I just wipe, clean it. That's good. He, he doesn't spend a bunch of time there, like exploring himself, like you yeah, do, Patty. I spelunk. <laughs> Nothing I want to find down there. Dude. 
Because because like sometimes it's surprising. You're like, oh, that's where it is. Like you you don't like noticeably. It's really high up on your back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. When okay. I was I was in uh, the south with uh, Ryan O'Toole. And we were in like a Chick Fil A in the rural Virginia, and the people that live there are just like really weird looking, <laughs> just all <laughs> super ugly. <laughs> and there was a guy that worked at Chick Fil A. He was probably like twenty years old, but he had the body of like a, like a really old man. Yeah, you know, like re- like he had no ass at all, and like really long place where his legs were together was he wearing like suspenders yeah. <laughs> like the waist his waist was like way higher than you would think just, yeah the f- how does this person exist yeah he looks like oh. the guy at church who like carries the donation <laughs> basket yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> every church they find a guy yeah. that fits that mold yes <laughs> to do that. they're like you're gonna silently glide it up and down the aisle yeah let's just let's find the least sexual being yeah to meet yeah. this guy to give your money to. dude people give a lot of money to churches oh there goes the camera <laughs> the video yeah. is over all right yeah i remember when i was a kid they'd do that they'd uh People would put a lot of money, and some people would just put like a prayer card. Yeah. And the guy collecting would be like, <laughs> <laughs> "I got plenty of this shit. What yeah. the fuck yeah. is going on?" We're in a church. Everyone's praying. This is, yeah. this is who am I going to give this to? He still go to church? No. <laughs> no. He goes to church. Why not, dude? Yeah, I don't know. Because he's a comedian. There are comics that go to church. Did it surprise you? Yeah, the uh, Arab Nate ones. <laughs> 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 the church of let's blow some shit up. <laughs> that's Thank God the video. Honestly, off. <laughs> yeah. If, if that was that's Jacob they, Timothy. If that's how they started, uh, like advertising Islam, I think I would be pretty on board with it. It sounds like a lot of fun. Hey, you like yeah. looking at fire? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> looking, at, looking at fire. You like looking at damage you did? If, if it's I, <laughs> like exploding, yeah, it's almost like the religion I'd never heard of. They're like, yeah, we just blow shit up. We go yeah. to like a field and blow shit up. <laughs> be like, oh hell yeah! Hey, do you like creating new holidays? <laughs> <laughs> you like giving people days off of work? Come on, get in here. <laughs> That's how I look at it. They gave us the day. We should have nine eleven off. Think so? At least the Arabs should. Yeah, because only the Jews got it that one day. That was a pretty good joke. We should get 9-11 off. Yeah, because only the Jews got it off the first day, right? The first 9-11? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, because all the financial shit shut down? Yeah, and they, got out of, they, were, they all got the email or whatever. <laughs> you know that old limerick. <laughs> I've heard so We shouldn't go into many, the building today. <laughs> I've heard so many stories over the years of like people that should have been on a flight. Yeah. Like, I don't know that those flights were like, they were like half full. Yeah. They were like, how many fucking empty seats were on those planes? Yeah. Like, you might I know, not got like, on. I know, like, 40 stories of people that are like, I was almost on that plane. Yeah. Like, I think I should be the guy that got shoveled onto that flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, first yes! Of, <laughs> finally! Imagine someone missed the flight, and so you get an upgrade, and you're in first <laughs> class, and you're yeah. like, pretty good, pretty good yeah. Tuesday in or September. You switch, <laughs> <laughs> or you switched... Or you switched... Or you switched your flight for, like, 300 bucks. You're like, oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah. Three 300. 300. This is going to go a long <laughs> way. <laughs> I was going to take one at, one at 4 a.m., but they had a 6 a.m., so <laughs> and they offered me 300 bucks. Do you guys have anything you want to plug? Uh, yeah, come to my show. Uh, it's, t- it's Sundays at 6. It's Grizzly Pear. Grizzly Pear, baby. I got a comedy special coming out. That's too. right. Yeah, it's called Alan Fitzgerald Straight for Pay. <laughs> wow. That's a nice title, straight for pay. I'm looking at the camera that's not even on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, that'll be great. Well, you'll have to come on again when it's out. And dude, maybe we'll just have it running behind us in the screen. That's okay. I don't want to do that. <laughs> but uh, if it's my uh, choice, I say no. Your that. body. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for doing this. Marriage between a man and a woman. We usually sing a song at the end. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Marriage is between a man and a woman. Good night. We should Christmas carol. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, one time, uh, this would be a good one for the podcast. Nobody's watching at this point. But uh, 
one time my basketball team in high school, we uh, decided to Christmas carol to like raise like 